okay, let's go through these three practice problems together. We're looking at 36 even and 16 odd. So first we're gonna write even over odd to show where the even and the odd are going to go. I get 36 over 16. What can that be reduced down to? I have to think about what I can divide out of both 36 and 16. And it can be divided by 4. So 36 divided by 4 is 9. 16 divided by 4 is 4. So this would be its simplest form. The second example for our practice is 40 girls to 56 boys. So we're gonna write our words. We're gonna write our ratio. I have to think about my times table. What common factor do 40 and 56 have? I heard somebody say eight, that is true. 40 divided by eight would be five. 56 divided by eight would be seven. That is in simplest form. Now we're going to find a unit rate, for example, three. We have miles and we have hours. Thirty-nine over three. I'm going to divide both by three. Thirty-nine divided by three would be thirteen. Three divided by three would be one. And that is the reason I chose the three, right? We're trying to get the denominator to be one. That means the unit rate is 13 miles per hour. Let's take the same idea and do our word problem. A painter can paint 360 square feet in one and a half hours. Every time I'm setting one of these up from a word problem, I want to just read the first sentence because that's going to tell me how to set up my ratio. What are the two things being compared to here? Square feet and hours. So we're going to make a ratio map first, square feet and hours. I'm going to read it again because the first time I read it, I was looking for what were the two things so I can make my ratio map. The second time I read it, I'm looking for the numbers that go with those so I can make my ratio. A painter can paint 360 square feet in one and a half hours. So I'm going to do 360 over 1.5. And now I'm going to read my question. What is the painting rate in square feet per hour? That means I need to get this 1.5 to be 1. So I'm going to divide both things by 1.5. I did not ask everyone to get a calculator because it's just this one that we're calculating for now. So I'll do it for us. We get 360 divided by 1.5 is 240. And I also want to just double check. I'm going to do 1.5 divided by 1.5. And what's that going to get me? One. one. Just making sure I got what I wanted. I've got 240 over one, which means it's 240 
square feet per hour. We are going to take a moment to glue this into our notebooks. And then I've given you, uh, thanks to our passer outer, a practice. I want you to see on the directions for this practice that it says writing ratio in simplest form using a colon and using the word two. So we're going to do it as a fraction with a colon and with the word two. And I'm going to start off with sailboats over motorboats. As a fraction, I write it as three over six. Is that in simplest form? What can it be reduced to? I prefer when I have to practice writing them in all three ways to do it this way first. Do the math with the words. Show the ratio as it is in the sentence. Simplify it while it's in its fraction form. And then you can do the other two forms. There is a backside to this paper, but I'd like us to not worry about it. We're just going to be worrying today about the front part. And that should take us up close to lunchtime. <laughs> 